What is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Brush Brothers Outdoors. I know it is the second to last weekend of bow season uh, before rifle season begins up beginning in November. Um, I am in the rifle blind tonight, or this morning. Uh, the wind direction for my bow stand is not right. It is, it is blowing, uh, blowing towards the feeder, so I'll just be busted if I go there. This is my big, pretty nice boar yesterday. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hunt in this rifle blind. I don't really have any mature deer I'm going after on camera just yet. So um, I'm going to hunt in the rifle blind this morning and uh, see if I can kill me a pig. Um, it is almost 7.15. The feeder goes off at uh, 7.20, I believe. And uh, I can see a pig. So, I'm just going to let it get a little more light. He looks like he's working his way. He's out in the middle. I don't want to kill him in the middle of my wheat field because I don't want to have to drive out there and go get him because he is not a very small pig. And I danger don't want to drag him all the way to the edge of the fence to go pick him up. Um, but, uh, we're going to give him a few minutes and Deer season is over, we still have a bunch of stuff to post. Because that's kind of what happened to us last season was we ran out of ran out of a few things to post and we were just never able to get in the blind and, and uh, make a video. But uh, we got this new property around around our home. Um, and uh, this guy gave us access to about 300 acres of land and there's a of pigs on it. Uh, we have two stands set up on it right now that we both want. We also have a big wheat field out there that we uh, we have thermal hunted on one time. Corey and I have killed probably four pigs out there so far. We got some of those videos that we uh, can throw together and, and uh, have a good little thermal video. And so hopefully we'll be able to get that, that up for y'all at some point in time. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, I had a decent 11 point. We think he's about, oh, four and a half. He could probably use another year or so. He was down at my uh, bin feeder, and I guess he ate all the corn. He had all the corn down there and decided that he wanted to come up to my open feeder. Well, I told you I had the pig in there this morning. Well, right before feeders went off, he decided that he wanted to. 
last week has been boozy in this way all morning, probably 45 minutes, all the way up to my other feature, just eating. Well, I lost him for a while, I was kind of keeping an eye on him. Uh, he was just stayed behind trees, he had a hard time, never could get a shot. Well, my buck decided he wanted to go with his other feature. He walked, I'm going to walk right up on the pig, and he just stopped and looked. And so now, I know exactly where the pig is, and he is heading to the pier. The bucks were at the pier, you can tell. As you can tell, and they have left. Um, I do not see the deer at the moment, but I have a feeling that that pig on the move. He's limping for some reason. I wonder if he's if he's already been injured before. That could be a very big possibility. Yeah, he was moving real slow. I finally was able to get on him. I hope I got it in video. Got that on video. Hope he didn't go out of the camera view. But, uh, another thing, is I have no way of getting the vehicle down into this big and he's about 120 yards he's a good ways out there we're just going to carry the camera out there and the gun and we're going to set up and we're going to look at him and uh, I'm going to drag him out a little bit and I'm going to hunt coyotes over him the rest of the weekend that'd be good I bet I can I bet we can get a coyote over him but uh, he's definitely down. Uh, I'm trying to, I gotta pinpoint the tree to where he's at. I believe I see him. He's down there some brush. You wouldn't see him in the camera view, but we're, uh, we're gonna go get our little pig. Get him and take him a couple video shots of him. All my dear shag, so. All my deer shagged. Put my gun on. 
But y'all just take a look at this old, this old stinking wheat field. This is freaking growing, man. This wheat field is outstanding. Y'all check out this wheat field. We got it. We planted this wheat field Labor Day weekend. And, uh, we have had a lot of rain up here lately. Check it out. The pigs love this wheat field. So, that's awesome. It is doing phenomenal. It's a probably about three and a half inches tall. Looks really good. The pigs were all out in it. guys I've given this pig probably 20 minutes I think it's about time we go uh, go uh, see if we can find our pig all right guys so I told y'all that when I got down or before I got down I was gonna pinpoint where my pig was well, guess what I didn't do before I got down pinpoint where my pig was so I take off walking for him, I'm looking for him. I don't find him, I don't find him. And I continue to not find him. So I made a, put my gun, my tripod down. <laughs> and I made a run up to the sand so I could try, so I could uh, pinpoint where he was. So I did, now I know where he is again. And I believe we're gonna walk up on him in just a minute. So let's take a look. Let's see. Oh, really... oh, here he is. My old piggy. Well guys, got my pig, pretty cool little pig actually, perfect little quarter and away shot, he didn't go far, he went about, uh, looked like, he went about 20 yards and tumbled, so thank y'all for sticking with us, thank you for being patient, uh, we'll have a couple more, Corey's got an awesome video he sits in a post, uh, so uh, y'all stay tuned, uh, like us on Facebook, like our, um, like our, we have two pages on Facebook. One's an actual Facebook page, and one's like a uh, where we can run our ads and and sponsor our stuff. So, y'all make sure y'all follow us, subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, check out our Instagram. We got a bunch of cool stuff. Corey and I are always looking for some stuff to post. So, like I said, thank y'all for following on, following along. Give me a thumbs up. I'll catch you on the next video.